Hey everybody, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Matt, and the pattern I'm going to be showing you tonight is a gold ribbed hare's ear nymph. So why do we need another video of a gold ribbed hare's ear nymph? There are at least a dozen of them out there. Well, this one is totally different. It's got a hot spot. It's not really totally different, but it's slightly different. Anyway, I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's get started. What you're looking at in the vise is a natural variation with the caddis green hot spot. So I will explain the materials as I go and put the recipe in the description. So I'm tying this on a size 12. It's a 2x long standard nymph hook, barbless. I'm going to put about 10 or 12 wraps of 015 weight. Now I am using black 70 denier UTC. I'll put a dam at the back of the weight, take it to the front, create another one, and then take my thread back to the bend of the hook. Okay, for the tail of the hare's ear, you'll want to take a small tuft of hair from almost a cheek, the upper cheek. It's hard to see when this zoomed in, but you've got the ears just under the ears, above the eye, you'll see some hairs. It's got some guard hair and a little bit of under fur. I've got a small tuft there. You see that right there? Probably a little bit less than a hook gap. So you'll want to pull some of that under fur out. It'll just keep the body size down. Now catch this in with a pinch wrap and a couple of turns to check your position. Okay, that's about the amount we want right there. Got some of that stuck on my fingers. Now just secure this in up to the weight. Don't worry if you got some scraggly sticking there. We'll capture that in when we're wrapping the body. So for the rib, gold wire. This is size brassy. On a size 12, you could go up to a, a size medium, probably be fine. So I cut that in at a 45 degree angle. Catch this in back to the tail. For the body, put a little wax on your thread and that same hair's ear mask a little bit further down and toward the sides you'll get some fur with a little a few a bit fewer guard hairs see this clump right there there's still some guard hairs but it's not as many so i'm going to dub this on here fairly tight and wrap it up to about two-thirds Okay, when you've got that dubbed about two-thirds, don't worry if it's a little messy up front. We're going to cover that with a little bit more dubbing in a second. So go ahead and counter wrap your rib. When you get that to the front, a couple of wraps to hold it down. I'm pulling on my thread and spin that off. Now a couple more securing wraps right there. Okay. Now bring your thread back before we wrap the wing case and the thorax. See that the thorax on this is a, almost a third of the fly. So I'm taking my thread back to right there. I'm going to take a small slip of dark mottled turkey feather. It's got a pretty side and a dull side. I don't know if you can see that in the camera right there. But I'm tying it with the pretty, the darker side down, so that when I flip it over to make the wing case, you will see the pretty side, the darker side. Before I catch it in too far, I'm checking my position, make sure I'm well enough centered on top. I think I am, so I'm going to go ahead and secure these in right here. 
Get a little ramp right there. Not too necessary, but it might make wrapping this thorax just a little easier. So more wax on my thread. Now this is the part, the hot spot, this is you have a lot of a lot of options here. If you've got a green rabbit, there are lots of green rabbits running around out there. This is a caddis green one. That's what I'm using. You could use some pink or red, or if you don't have any different color hairs mask, just take your regular hairs mask and add some colored you know, synthetic or anything else in it. I'm using this caddis green mask. I'm going to dub this on, but not as tight of a noodle as we did for the body. We want to have some legs coming out and having this, this just a little bit spikier. So that's definitely spikier. Now, if we did get it too tight, we can always use a Velcro or bodkin to pull it out before we're done. So take your wing case, wrap that over. I'm looking directly over the top there. I've got it centered how I want. Just a couple of loose wraps right there. Check your position. We're centered over the top. So tight wrap there. And then I'm going to put a couple wraps in front just to help stand it up. Now I can reach in with some fine tip scissors and cut this off as close as I can get it. And I will take my thread just to the back of that eye and I'm going to build a little ramp to capture the butt ends of this turkey slip. Now you don't have to worry about building, building your head up too big. It is a nymph. And it's time to whip finish. One whip finish, four or five turn will be sufficient if you're going to use some head cement. If not, I'd probably do two whip finishes. So go ahead and snip your thread off. Do we have any cleanup to do? Not too much. We want the thing to be buggy. So, But if it's not buggy enough, just take your Orvis popsicle stick. It's got a little Velcro on the bottom and you can scrape some of this out right there. So you can even scrape some back on the body right there. So it'll give you some legs. Might have pulled too much out right there. But either way, that's it. The gold ribbed hair's ear nymph. You can tie it in any color combination. This one is the natural with the caddis green hotspot. So that's all folks. I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.